So, we have a full review here. This is Seamless Thin Meat Ojo Crackers. These are eerily similar to Wheat Thins. This is Ollie's brand of Wheat Thins. Or Ollie's take on Wheat Thins. So it's thin wheat. They drop the S and they just switch to the wheat. They drop the S from the thins. And they switch. Thins and meter. Yeah. So you know it's a wheat thins not. It's a clear wheat thins not. You can clearly tell them by the name. And except these have the holes in them. The wheat thins don't. I don't know how to feel about that. They give you a little less cracker for your butt. But do they taste good? Mm. Yeah, they taste similar to mine. I'm just gonna leave that in my hair a bit there. Yeah, this is with an interesting a bit better. But. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, the thing is not very weird. No. So I'm going to give the Sabrettes the meat crackers. Probably an 8 out of 10. I don't think they're as good as um, the regular like wheat thins. But, I mean, they're a bit cheaper. And they taste not as good, but they do taste pretty good for being a, you know, and they're cheap. I mean, Ollie is known for having like cheap snacks or cheap food in general. Ollie's known for that. You know? But a lot of all these products are, um, n are like knockoffs of um, name brands. And they might, you know, they might have these company, this company. Like. Not the company makes like wheat thins and stuff like that, but like the. I think this one company might make like thin meat crackers for like all the like. Like they might make like the Target brand, the Walmart brand. And they make all. They might make. Which one company might make all these different brands? And we have to do no marketing at all to them. Like no marketing. To like the consumer, well, as like wheat thin, you might see. Well, they're like three. Say these are like three dollars, but you might pay four dollars for for wheat thins because they're still getting that three. But then they have to, you know. But in that cost, it's like marketing. You know, like they're paying like promoted on TV and stuff. The more expensive products, you know. This there's like no promotion. The only time I've ever heard you hear about it is maybe on like when you go to Aldi or you go when you go to Aldi or you like see it there's like these food food ones that are like review like all different to every single food product or YouTube peop YouTube videos on it. Or like sites that like review how Good it is for you. Like I've seen the like, food you can eat. So you know, just some but it's but these aren't bad though. I just give these like an eight out of ten. I do think the wheat thin the regular wheat thin is taste better. 
but it's they're pretty similar. And these are well worth the cheaper price if you want, you know. You will can save a little bit on for your, on your, on your groceries. If you like a family or you're looking to save for whatever reason, you know. Yeah. You, you know, if you just want to save a little bit. Not sacrifice taste too much. This is a good al al alternative, you know. Because sometimes when you buy like the cheaper stuff, you might be sacrificing like, well, um, you know, you might be sacrificing that taste, you know. I don't want to, some people are like, I don't want to switch, but save a little bit if I got all sacrifice taste. No. You're not with this product. So. Or, I mean, you are a little bit, but you're not sacrificing like too much. It's like a huge noticeable difference. So, that's it. Cheers.